Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today I am gonna bring you along to get ready with me and discuss some hot topics and create a really pretty fall winter grunge type look. Girl, did you see that post? <laughs> I'm gonna go over some drama that's been uh, buzzing about that I have a couple of opinions on, some opinions on Black Friday stuff, and also some uh, comparisons between the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge palette and the Natasha Denona Xenon palette because I'm still getting questions about what the diff is. So let's get into it. So first, let's start out with foundation. I have been reorganizing my makeup recently and I was like, you know what? I need to go back to some foundations that I really liked. And this, this is one of them that I wanna try again because I got the Jellyfish palette. You guys know I've been using it in every single video. But I wanna use the Ambient Soft Glow foundation today. I have the shade five. It might be a touch too dark, but I really love this foundation. So I wanted to use that today, but my skin is looking good. So I don't feel like I need much coverage. And it is thanks to today's sponsor, which we are about to get into because there's a really great Black Friday deal going on. But I do wanna to touch on Black Friday because I have my Black Friday video coming up tomorrow. It should go up tomorrow and the whole thing. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, there's a lot of pressure to shop because that's when good deals are going on. And it's like, oh, I could get my gifts now and all of that stuff. But it also kind of creates like a, a lot of extra, I said I didn't need that much coverage and look how much I'm putting on. Anyway, it kind of just adds a little extra pressure to the holiday season. So now I've noticed companies have like the option in their emails to like turn off alerts during sales and holidays and things, which I think is really cool. If you just, if it stresses you out and it's too much, you know, but you know, I really like to get good deals for myself, for my business, as well as for um, gifts for family and things on these types of, you know, big sales and things. Anyway, uh, so that's one thing about Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but I just wanna tell you guys, you know, it is all already starting and things, but there is something that I feel like you guys don't know about in the whole influencer community because I don't think people have talked about this before. I mean, I haven't heard anybody talk about this before and it's that, okay, so you guys know, all of my links in the info box below are affiliate links if I can help it. Not all of them can make affiliate links. There are a few affiliate linking platforms that I use, Howl, shop my shelf and magic links and i don't use like to know it but i do occasionally if i can't find a product on the other linking platforms that's usually like the last one that i will go to but anyway what these platforms have done and it's it's kind of it's not new but it's kind of increasingly bothersome to me and hey listen like it's how i make my money this is my business this is my livelihood this is how i feed myself this is how i pay for my medication to live not go blind from glaucoma like i'm so thankful for my job i love my job and i love that it pays my bills that i get to talk about the things that i love with the people that i love and we can have conversations about that but I want you guys to to be aware of something because I don't think anybody's talked about it like I said and I don't think they're going to especially on this platform it's great to say hey I use affiliate links and be very transparent about that but there's one more thing that not many people are transparent about and I know this because I use all of these platforms as well these platforms have absolutely gamified the holiday season on my end now it's like make this many sales and get a bonus right which is okay that's cool but what they're doing now is there's a list of products that they kind of want you to push. Now this is across all the platforms, all right? Not so much Shop My Shelf. It's kind of like, these are the deals that are going on. Feel free to promote them. But Magic Links and Howl have a list of, you know, hey, these are the products that are selling right now. Promote them and, because we've increased your commission. So commission can be anywhere from 3% to 30%. And it, it does this, right? So it kind of equals, it kind of evens out. But what I have noticed is with listlet videos and things like that, 
I tell you what I like after using it for a while and if there's a good deal on it and all that kind of stuff. But this holiday season, I know that I have already seen people post about products that are top sellers. Top sellers? They may not be. Not all of them are top sellers. They just are the most you can make in commission at the time because you have these listlets of top commission, the most commission you can make, and also what's hot right now, which is great. Like, like it lets me know what's going on in the industry on your end, what you're purchasing, what you like the most, and things like that. So I can, there's a lot of products that I have tried out personally that I go, oh, I really like this. I'm glad I found this on this list, right? And I'm not speaking ill of the platforms. That is the industry. Uh, but I'm speaking kind of ill towards influencers who only talk about the top sellers and all of that stuff because just because it's a top seller doesn't mean that the influencer loves it. They just know that you've already heard about it across all social media platforms. So you've been introduced to the brand, the product, so you'll purchase it quicker and faster, right? So if you've heard, it doesn't take one time to mention something to convert a sale. It takes so many times. Think about how many emails you've received where you open it and you go, oh yeah, I'll finally buy that. Usually it takes me like a good two months of sitting on thinking about a product or a pair of jeans or something like that to purchase it. So if influencers know that you know, the market has saturated ads and you've just been like oversaturated with certain products, you, they'll, they know that you'll buy it faster. So they'll only talk about the top sellers, whether they're top sellers or not, and uh, tell you that they love them because they're already selling so much and they will get top commission on that. I think that it's great to know what's selling the most for one, because the industry is, hey, let's try new things. But on the other hand, it's like, hey, if you've never tried the product, you just know it's selling, that's so wrong. So watch out and really use your gut when it comes to these Black Friday videos and things like that. I personally made a list of products that I already use, love, and own for Black Friday sales. So I literally contacted brands to get the information about their sales that I wanted to promote. I emailed them and I was like, hey, Karastaz, hey, oh, Complex. Like, what do you what do you got going on that I can share with my audience because I want to promote these certain products? So I actually reached out to the brands myself and then found some other information online to make Black Friday video, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So just be careful because not only you know it's it doesn't stop at disclosing affiliate links. It needs to stop at, hey, do you really like this product or is this on the back end of your affiliate linking platforms? And that's something that people just don't are not talking about. And I know I spent way too much time on that, but I do want to get into today's sponsor because I've actually used it for a year and it works and they are having an incredible Black Friday starting today, ending December 1st. So let's get into it. Thank you, Current Body, for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you've watched me this year, you know that I have fallen in love with the current body LED mask. I have been using this on the regular and a lot of you over this past year have commented on how my skin has improved like incredibly and it is because I have been regularly using the current body LED mask. I love using this when I'm just getting ready in the morning or preparing to film. It's only 10 minutes. The LED mask combines red light therapy and near infrared light therapy and both combined help increase the production of collagen. Calms redness, which if you've watched me for you know, any amount of time, you know that my face used to be so red, especially through my cheeks because I do have an autoimmune disease. So I really tend to get very sensitive redness around my cheeks, especially. It has just calmed my skin and reduced my redness so much. It helps improve your skin tone. I can't tell you how many days I go without foundation. It is super flexible, so it's really comfortable to wear. I use this mask about five times a week for 10 minutes every single morning. Morning. And I can tell you after using this for almost a solid year, it is so comfortable and you can actually like get things done while you have this mask on. Put the uh, little charger thing in my robe pocket and I go about my business for 10 minutes and it goes by like that and I see an instant improvement in my skin tone and my the overall look of my skin. And as you can see, you're seeing the before and after. Now it's an immediate improvement, but over time, as you guys have watched this year, and the redness reduction is insane. I'm so 
happy with my current body LED mask. Right now, my code Mallory gets you 20% off the entire current body skin range. And they also have a red light mask for your neck, which I'm super interested in trying because as you get older, your neck, you know, you, you gotta pay attention to your face and your neck. So the current body LED mask is proven to be the strongest on the market. I know there's a lot of different LED masks you can grab everywhere. I'm telling you from personal experience for almost a year, this mask has changed my skin tone and just the, like the look of my skin completely. It is down to the brass tacks, 31% more powerful than all of the other LED masks on the market. It has a whopping 132 LED lights with pillow technology. It combines red LED light therapy, which I said at 633 nm and near infrared light at exactly 830 nm. And those two wavelengths work beneath the skin surface to start the natural rejuvenation process. So it is the light combined with your very own skin that is causing your skin to rejuvenate itself. All of the science aside, the proof's in the pudding. My skin is just a completely different face and I get comments all the time about it and that is so true. I used to be so red in the cheeks and any slight amount of inflammation from my autoimmune disease, you would see it on my face. And now after using the current body LED mask for, like I said, almost a year, the improvement in my skin is absolutely out of this world, so definitely take advantage of their Black Friday deals right now. If their Black Friday deals are live up until the 1st of December, you can use my code Mallory for 20% off. Thank you, Current Body, for sponsoring today's video and also just literally changing my complexion. So that's why my skin tone has been so even lately. But yeah, I just want you guys to know because I do, like I said, I do my Black Friday video is coming up and it is literally not everything's a bestseller, you know? Uh, it's just so funny. As soon as like people feel like people are being truthful, there is some more things that need to be addressed. So I'm gonna use the NARS Under Eye Brightener in Night Swan. I just need a little extra something there. I've been really sick. We've talked about that in every single video, but I feel like we've had a lot of new people on our channel here. So hi, hello, welcome. I'm, we're so happy to have you. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot, but just in case, you know, it's just like people ask questions or don't understand. So I'm just trying to keep you guys updated when I mention things, cause we do have quite a few new people on the channel, but I started low dose chemo over a month ago and I'm still really struggling to not be sick every day, all day. So filming has been really tough because I have to go with like, okay, are we feeling like slightly like we won't uh, throw up in the first half of the, day, of the day? Let's get started, you know? Um, but my dark circles, if I'm looking a little extra sunken in there, that's because I've been just not, not well. Okay, so I love the under eye brightener. You could stop there, honestly, but the combo that I've been loving, and look at all that. I applied way too much foundation on the back of my hand, but five is actually matching my untanned self. And when I am not self tanned, I'm an NC, like NC 15 to NC 20. The House Labs Triclone Concealer with the NARS Under Eye Brightener works beautifully. When I use the under eye brightener to cancel out the extra darkness, I use less concealer depending on like whatever concealer I'm using that day. Cause you need less concealer when you use a corrector. But anyway, so for Black Friday, just keep on the lookout girl with that kind of stuff because it's being amped up on the back end and uh, I see people taking deals also like sponsorships that I have like turned down, especially with like, um, you know, the whole Timu thing. Why are people still working with Timu? Why are we still, what the heck? I get Facebook messages from people that I know asking me to join Timu so they can get a percentage off. It's an MLM and you wanna talk about slave labor and all of this stuff, Timu? Girl, there's a reason why they're paying you to buy that, those pair of shoes. Oh, I could get so angry. So like all these Timu sponsorship, like what the heck? Why are we, why are we working with Timu? Um, I'm gonna use, actually I'm gonna set my under eye with diffused light here. I've been using ethereal light a lot, so I just wanna go into here. So there's a lot that I see in my emails and the back end that I see people take deals that I'm like, how are you morally taking that? And I know that you took two cents for that. And um, you're just promoting like Timu and She Glam and all of this stuff. Like I get the same emails, okay? I get the same, same emails. I get the same, hey, these are the hottest products selling and uh, 
like, okay, for example, let me give you an example. On the back end for the Sephora sale, there was like a list of products that are the best sellers at Sephora on the back end. Not like when you click their best sellers or whatever, which I didn't even know I could find this on this affiliate linking platform, but I found it and it's just like what products are actually selling the most. Um, and one of them before the sale was the Crown Affair hair towel. So I clicked on it, I read about it, I read all the reviews and I was like, all right, sold. So I bought two of them, one for me, one for Steven, and we love them. So there's nothing wrong with buying something from that list as an influencer. I like to call myself content creator because I actually create content and all that stuff. I actually, I don't just sit here with like a bag that I rented and next to a car that I rented, you know, and I'm like, buy this lipstick I've never used. Okay, so that's like influencer, a content creator. But where was I going with that? Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with trying the top selling products, right? And then saying, ooh, this is good. And then telling your audience it's good. But there's something so, there's just, it's really bothering me that no one's talking about this. And then I just see my peers, cause I'm subscribed to them. I see my peers promoting these products that aren't the best, that do have returns, you know, and taking these deals. So just use your gut when you're shopping this holiday season is all I'm saying. Okay, you guys, it is time to try, not try, I've tried a few of the shades, but I haven't like done a full look with this. The Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. I held this palette up with the Natasha Denona Xenon palette because this was like being compared a little bit online. They're totally different. This is way warmer. When you look at this by itself, it's definitely a cooler undertoned palette overall, but this is like straight up blue undertoned grays. And there's some warm grays in here, but it's mostly just like flat grays. It, you could do just a full black and white look, you know, with this. And I love it. I love the Xenon palette. I think it's unique. It's unlike anything that I own and I have created some really great looks with it. It's made me love cooler toned eye makeup recently, which is crazy for me, but I've really just been enjoying cooler toned eye makeup because of the Xenon palette. So I wanna create kind of like a grungy, not grungy, let's say smoky fall look. And by the way, I did get sent this palette. And like, if you guys are uh, members of this channel, then you see my vlogs every week. And I got a little uh, grunge kit, but I'm not gonna use everything that was sent cause it's like black lipstick. Girl, I just wanna create like a pretty fall look while we kind of chit chat. But um, I am going to smoke out the look first. I like to build over eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Longwear Eye Pencil in black. I thought that I had this one. I only have the brown eyeliner. So this is a new one, but I really like her creamy coal eyeliners, which speaking of Huda Beauty, girl, did you see that post <laughs> about Kim Kardashian? She dragged her to filth and Kylie in one of the posts, but honestly it makes you stop and think just with everything going on. I don't like to discuss politics and things like that on my channel. Cause I want to, I want to be an escape. And so that's why we focus on you know, beauty and stuff. But anyway, that was a wild Instagram post and I thought it was like really good because, you know, listen, I buy skims and I was on Kim Kardashian's show, uh, Glam Masters. She was my producer and all of that stuff. And I've watched the Kardashians for years and all of that. So it's like, whew, you know, and I loved KKW Beauty, but like the back and forth on social media right now is pretty nuts, but it is true. It's kind of like we have all of this going on. And like I just said, like, I want to be an escape, right? But like at the same time, it's like we're like all of this is going on and what are we talking about? So like that post of like the comparison, like I kind of had to like take a break from even finishing that reel she posted. But anyway, <laughs> back to makeup. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna smudge, smudge, I'm gonna smudge this out. And I am trying to keep everything zoomed in. Like you guys asked recently, actually you've been asking me to zoom in a little more, a lot lately. And I kinda just forgot. I'll get going, you know, it'll be a filming day and I'm like, go, go, go. Yeah, I try to get through it. I enjoy it, but I try to get through it before I start getting sick. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Gabby Rose Pro 
13 smudger brush. I'm gonna smudge upward and outward. I don't know why I start with my left eye. So the whole reason I started Lotus Chemo again is because I've put it off. I really didn't want to do it because I have felt the healthiest I've been in my entire life health-wise, but I've just lost so much vision that it was time for a stronger treatment, especially my right eye. So when I close my left eye to like do my eye makeup on my left side, it's really actually really hard for me to see what I'm doing and it scares the shit out of me. And that's the drama on this side of things. So I'm just upward, outward, and I'm smudging with my finger. But anyway, I would love to know what um, Black Friday sales you guys are interested in. I not only have the Black Friday video uh, coming up tomorrow, it's like actually brands I wanna shop <laughs> for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So that's another thing. It's like, girl, do you really want to shop this brand? Or are you just saying this because it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with loving the hot products right now. But what I'm saying is I see you because I get the same emails. This black eyeliner kind of reminds me of all the drama going on with the KVD beauty thing. So, okay, I saw, I think it was Twitter. I think it was Twitter first, or it might've been Instagram. I don't know that Michaela Nagara was announced to be the face of KVD beauty, which here's the thing, like, I was never really a huge fan of. I really liked it when Kat Von D like owned it and first launched the brand. I really liked the eyeshadow palettes and the liquid lipsticks. Like it was just very good for the time, right? But I just kind of lost interest and I tried their good apple stuff that everybody loved for dry skin. And I'm like, girl, do you even ha really have dry skin if you like this? Cause this is terrible. So I don't like anything from KVD Beauty, but I was like, wow, people are really like uh, everything I'm saying. It's like, okay, so what do we want? What do we want? Because it's the brands that want the controversy to get the views. And then it's like, then you've got people who just want to see the world burn. You know, some people want to see the world burn. Oh my God, did he pass away? Did what's his name pass away? Michael, I don't know. You guys know from Batman and a lot of other good movies. You know, some people do just want to see the world burn for entertainment and that's just not me. Like I really love my industry. I just don't get it. I'm like, what is the, the and here's the thing. I think that Michaela is decent at doing makeup. I have a little June bug in here. I think she's decent at doing makeup and all that stuff. I'm just, I don't get it. Like if I were a brand, I would be, I would be nowhere near the types of people like Jaclyn Hill and James Charles and Jeffree Star and Michaela Nagara and who, and all these controversial people. Not because they're controversial, because they stand for something, but because they're controversial because they lie about so much. That's broth time. That's pretty much all I can keep down during the day. So anyway, yeah, I don't get it. And then I didn't realize after I saw that, I was like, ooh, bad call for you. Um, why the heck are you making Michaela Nagara the, you're the face of your freaking brand? What, you know, like that's nuts to me. And then I saw, oh, it was like a competition or something. And they were like, hey, Guys, like, you'd be surprised who could win this. Like, we're looking for all ages and all faces and all everything. And apparently, like, everybody was, like, under 24 or something like that. And it's just, it was a very, like, shady thing. So that's pretty nuts. I think that it is really crappy, the ageism in this industry. It's always been like that. I honestly don't know what could change that. Um, especially, I feel like it's getting worse because the younger the people are, the more they, they feel like controversy is going to get them further than like their talent or, you know, being themselves because it's true. We've created such a, like, like we've just created such an environment to actually nurture controversy, lies, and things like that. And it proofs in the pudding, you know, Michaela's the face of a brand. And then I'll tell you what, not, I didn't like KBD Beauty anyway, like before this, but I'm definitely never shopping them again. Like I wonder, do they acquire more customers than they lose doing things like this? Like, okay, so the P. Louise thing, for example, the whole hotel room and like everything like that. I, P. Louise is a brand that a lot of people respect and have used for years. Like makeup artists use that brand. Right, I, I, mean, I haven't used anything from them in quite some time, but now I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not gonna touch your stuff. There's no way I can trust you or your products if you're gonna choose 
to dote on someone that lies for a living. And you know what? It'll give her far. And God bless. I hope she's investing her money. I hope she somebody is, is taking care of all of the things, right? Because once your time's up, your time's up. You're not always young and controversial. Then you get older and you have to rely on your skill and talent to just keep your lights on. <laughs> you know what I mean? The whole ageism thing is a big deal, especially on this end of it. Like, I'm 35, I get, I still am very like, feel very blessed to have the sponsorships that I have because I love working with the brands that I work with. I like Current Body, I love their mask. Like it has helped my skin so much, my 35 year old skin. But I think brands like Jones Road, like Bobby Brown does such a great job at having a spectrum of models to show, hey, my products look great on a whole age range. You know, the face of her brand, like one of her models, she, I think it was she, bumped into this lady at a restaurant while she was having dinner with her husband and she was like hey you know they like meshed well and then asked her to be the face of this campaign and then now she's a jones road model like i think that's incredible um now not everything works out that way but brands definitely should be more forthright of like hey our target audience is like 15 to 24 so that's the face of our brand you know what I mean? And then don't tell influencers to apply. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't try to look good and then do pull like an ageism thing. Okay, on that note, let's dig into the Pretty Grunge palette. Now I, oh, there's like a cream shade, a cream grunge. I should have, you know what? We'll probably go back over the liner with that. I wanna do something along these, like this, these two rows. So I'm going to go ahead and dust rise up all <laughs> rise up all over my eye and i'm going to use a bk beauty 201 to do that oh i could take this sticker off actually i can see perfectly though this also this palette is the same price as the xenon palette but do you, i don't know if you get the same amount of eyeshadows okay that's a lot warmer than i thought it was going to be so rise up is a little warm but so is the palette Ooh, that looks pretty just kind of blended together, doesn't it? Try to keep my right eye open so I, or keep my left eye open so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm just gonna dust that right underneath. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about all of the ageism crap that goes on in the industry. I mean, I feel like as a woman and as a little girl, it was just something that you knew. Like, hey, if you're gonna do anything in the line of acting, modeling, you know, now being on the internet, you just need, like your time's up at a certain time, right? It, that's just always the way it's been. And I think we've gotten a little, a little away from that thanks to brands like Jones Road who use um, more mature models and you know promote their products on more mature models but it is just something that I don't think that I kind of recognize unless it's pointed out because I was raised to just know like once you hit you know 22 that's it girl you are done pretty much and I say that because when I was younger, I was in beauty pageants and I did do some modeling and I had actually um, in my lifetime, I've had two modeling agencies, nothing huge came out of it, but I definitely got work for modeling and commercial modeling and all of that stuff. And that's just the way it was. It's like, you're young girl, you better get the jobs you're gonna get now. I like the way that smoked out, but we definitely need to bring some shimmer into this. You guys, I just realized I was like, oh, I wanna do something along these lines and I went to rise up. <laughs> I meant to go into love anarchy, but anyway, we can, uh, that's all right. That is okay. So I'm gonna go over all of the dark spots that we have dark spots, the, the dark areas of the eye look with avant-garde oh wow that's really pretty i am going to use a angie hot and flat bk beauty a503 it's a little bit more tapered and i'm just going to lay that down on my hand here first because that kind of activates any shimmer and kind of presses the pigment before you go in and then you're not getting as much fallout and i'm just going to press this on the outer part of my eye lid also i did some work for revlon not on my channel but for their youtube channel and i have really been loving their products that i have been sent to try and to film with especially like their lip products like today's lip combo is going to be revlon 
because it's something that I've been loving to use. But one of you commented that like they had a bankruptcy scare or something. I have no idea about that. And that would suck because I feel like quality wise, Revlon and uh, L'Oreal are kind of like at the top tier for drugstore. So I'm glad that that may get resolved. I'm just taking avant-garde on my lower lash line as well. Ooh, that is pretty smoky and grungy. And again, I'm just pressing this on my hand first, you know, kind of crushing those pigments and shimmers and then blending this through and blending it out. I need to deepen that up a little more. All right, I feel like this is one of those eyeshadow palettes. It's like so easy to get a smoky look and be done and I could overdo it here in a second. I don't want to do that. But yeah, like also back to the drugstore thing, there's a lot of top selling drugstore because of TikTok. And a lot of people will say that they love drugstore and actually use not drugstore in real life. And I know, I know that from experience with people. And so it's like, I'm not trying to even, I'm not, I'm definitely not a snobby person when it comes to uh, money because it is hard to come by. <laughs> Trust me, it is really hard to make any money in this industry. But, you know, I don't just sit here and tell you that I love drugstore and it's the same thing as high end all day and then lie to you. And because these products are hot right now, like when I say that I like drugstore, it's like, you can believe me because most of it is shit. <laughs> but a lot of it is not, you know what I mean? So you gotta try, figure out what works and what you want to tell your audience about. And a lot of these influencers will just be like, oh, I'll tell my audience about this because it is selling the most and my commission is the highest on that. Okay, I wanna see what strong AF is because I think I could end this look with this. Oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go in the middle. Oh. Wow, okay, yeah, holy crap. There are so many like multi-dimensional shimmers and glitters in here. Okay, wow. This one has a little bit of fallout. I went a little wild on the other eye, so I'm gonna press a little firmer with going in instead of just kind of letting it fly everywhere. Gosh, you guys, I can really, it's so hard for me to see when I have my left eye closed. That is so terrifying. TBH, just to be honest with you. Okay, that is, that's pretty, that's smoky. All right, now I wanna go into Maverick. Ooh, or what about Rebel? Look at that. Come on, focus. Look at that. <gasps> oh, um, it's got too much of a purple shift. And honestly, I just like purple so much that I'm just gonna allow myself to not use that today. But that is really pretty. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go into Maverick for the inner corner here. This guy. It's like a taupe silver. That on a clean finger, Mallory. It's like a taupe silver my camera come on there we go <laughs> very pretty i'll put that on my palm as well oh that's like okay so this shade which we're about to use on our inner corner inner lid looks like that i would purchase that like as a single eyeshadow you know i'm gonna lay it down with a brush first just so i don't get it everywhere and then i'm gonna press it in with my finger because my nails are long. That's one thing. I love having acrylic nails, but I go back and forth all the time because it's like, it's so much easier to apply eyeshadows with your finger without nails. But this is the Gabby Rose. I've been using this a lot for reasons like, uh, like I just said. This is the Gabby Rose, like one of the color brushes. It comes in a little kit. I love the shape of it and the way it applies, it applies just as good as a finger. But I am gonna go in with my finger here and just press it it in a little bit more. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like this palette, you could get a lot of pretty uh, neutral looks. Like you wouldn't need to go in uh, too crazy like we are today, like pretty smoky. This is sticking to this, it's drive me nuts. Um, so here's first applied with the Gabby Rose um, colors brush through the collection. And then here's with my finger. So you can see how well that brush applies. It's, it's really nice to have that when you have acrylic nails. I feel like I enjoy having nails more in the winter than I do the summer for some reason. All right, I'm gonna take that shade Maverick and I'm gonna take it on the inner corner here as well. Definitely getting some fallout, but here's the thing. If you are going for the grunge look, that's all right. If you're not, I would definitely, if you don't have acrylic nails, take this shade with your finger on the lower part of the lid. All right, I'm gonna take a Gabby Rose angled brush here. I'm gonna go into grunge and I'm gonna create a little flick since this is a cream shadow. I'm gonna use it as an eyeliner and see how well it does. I haven't used it yet, so it might really be bad. <laughs> oh no, it's like a little soft black moment. And I've been liking a higher wing lately, like one that lifts my eyes, basically because 
I uh, feel like I just look so tired that like a more straight wing, a straight out can like turn my eyes down and I need a little lift. All right, that worked out as a liner though. It's kind of like a soft, barely there situation. And now I'm just gonna take a Gabby Rose Pro 11, this tiny little guy here, and I'm just gonna smudge that a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little smudger brush that I thought I had in my hand, but I have a different brush in my hand. Smudger brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take avant-garde and I'm just gonna smudge my, actually, I'm gonna mix. Let's, let me, let me go back. I'm just gonna mix what's left on my hand and smudge my lower lash line with this. We just need to bring something else there. And I think shimmer is kind of what we're missing here because we just kind of took matte and satins down there and just to make it a little more cohesive. So we are using a little bit of that strong AF shade, which has a little bit of a purple shift. I'll eat my words on that. I'm so tempted. Or was it Rebel that had the purple shift? I'm honestly tempted. Let's do it. Let's take Rebel and, uh, oh, is it like Rebel, but like a bell? You know, like a, like the bell of the ball. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take that right on the center, right over Strong AF. This was the shade that had the shift. High shine and shimmer has been kind of like my thing recently. Look at that. I love something that looks like a glossy lid, but isn't obviously, so it doesn't break all of my makeup up and get all over me. Anyone that tells you an eye gloss will last you or putting like a gloss on their lids is gonna last you and it's like the way to get a glossy lid, they're lying to you. It'll melt all of your makeup off because think about what your makeup remember is made out of. Oils. I've never understood that. I'm like, girl, you ain't fooling me for a second putting that eye gloss on. You need something that will mimic a gloss. And ooh, I feel like that really did. And that subtle purple shift kind of falls it up a little bit. All right, let's finish off the face and then put some mascara on. All right, like I said, I got sent this PR package for the Pretty Grunge. And where did the blush go? Okay, so this is a multi-use dewy sheen. Use fingertips to activate pH, apply on top of skincare or makeup to add a dewy custom color to cheeks and lips. Okay, so that's why I was gonna say. It says it's a blush, but girl, it is a highlighter. <laughs> okay, but it's not, but look how cool it is. So it says you can use this as a blush, but I feel like I wanna lay down a blush first, but then how would we know what this looks like on my cheeks? Okay, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna activate it with my, what? Look at that. It's very 90s, man. Just like things that turn into your perfect shade of pink. Okay, for me, that seems like a little bit of a highlight. I like the shade though. It's supposed to be your perfect pink because it works with your pH. Like a mood ring, it works with the temperature of your skin. That is really pretty. Uh, okay, I'll lay this down as a base and then go in with a blush. It's working well with this eye look especially since we went in with um, more purple shift right at the end. These these sh glitters get places, you know what I mean? I, mean, I don't mind it because I love glitter, but just keep that in mind. If you are not someone who is a big glitter shimmer fan, this palette's probably not for you. That's a really nice pink. Wow, okay. But to go right over it, because I just want a little more depth I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Glowish Blush in Milky Rose. This is one of my favorite glowish blushes. And the reason why I thought it would look good with this palette, but it might be too warm. But now that we're going right over that little pink situation, I think I'll like it all together. Warm, warm up that pink. Cause you guys know, if you've watched me for any amount of time, I'm not a big baby doll pink on my cheeks personally person. Okay, let's add a little warmth. I'm gonna use the Jones Road, the bronzer brush and go into the bronzer from the Jellyfish palette and just bronze up the outer parts of my face. And I like to do this if I use like a pink blush because it said it was gonna turn pink. Sometimes baby doll pinks or like cooler undertone pink blushes can go muddy if you lay down bronzer on your cheeks first. So that's why we opted out of that. I said on my chin. That uh, grunge blush is really cool. I think I'll like this when I'm not wearing foundation. Like a, I have been doing a lot of like no foundation looks recently because I've been, not been feeling well. And this, I think I could add to the stack. All right, I'm gonna use the Merit Signature Mascara. This is like kind of like a glossy black and I've really been preferring glossy black lengthening mascaras lately because I did a lash lift 
and I did a video on it and if it's up, I will link it. But also Merit's having like some pretty good Black Friday deals like on their website. They're doing their like mini gloss set. It comes with the skin oil, which I haven't tried yet. And it comes with a single eyeshadow, one of the, their new single eyeshadows, their solo shadows, which I have not tried yet. I, and uh, I think I wanna buy some during their Black Friday deals but like this mascara comes into, comes in that kit. And I really like this mascara for my lash lift moment, you know? It lengthens, it's glossy, and that's one coat. For highlight, I'm gonna use an old fave, the Charlotte Tilbury, what, a, God. Let, the name is so long and it just makes me want to scream. Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in Champagne Glow. I just, I've made this joke a lot recently, but it's so true that brands are just naming their products for SEO. For like all of us to like say the names and then like put the names in titles or put the names in posts. It helps them be found, just so you know. So many little, little tricks and of the trade, which there's nothing wrong with it, but I just like, I feel like it's been out of control, especially this year. Like the names have gotten longer and all of that stuff. Like girl, oh my god. That's one thing like with Black Friday and the Sephora sale like all of the magazines will have articles on it and everything now and it's just like people are so surprised that influencers and brands and things like pay for placement and lists and uh, you know like the best of and then you have like all of this list. Those are sponsored posts technically like brands pay for placement in listlets and magazines and online articles and things. That's been around forever. I remember when I first learned it is when I was a part of the Allure Beauty Blogger Awards and I actually won second place in 2014 and I was in the magazine and it was months of um, competition and things like that and I learned a lot about the back back end of like, like you have magazines, right? And then you have ads and you know that these designers are paying and brands are paying like high dollar to place those ads. But what you don't know, and what I learned in 2014 is that brands pay to a, be a part of something like Allure Beauty Blogger Awards that doesn't exist anymore, but especially like listlets and things, people have been paying for placement forever. Like you'll see some of your favorite influencers or makeup artists in these articles. It's because they've hired a PR person to place them. And I guess that's just now being found out and like highly controversial when actually it's been going on for years and years. Um, it's just something that's like kind of behind the scenes, you know? But yeah, your favorite influencers or maybe not your favorite and makeup artists and stuff, they pay for placement all of the time. It's been that way forever but it's, it is getting worse, you know? You really do have to use your gut and you know, you really are, uh, it, you're, you're paying who you look at. You're paying who you watch. You, you, you're promoting with every single view, you're promoting who you watch. So you go to hate watch someone, that view is getting them more popular, more paid more, and also gives them more opportunity with everything in life. And that's why we're just seeing, like I said, now it's like people are not, younger people are not striving to, to use their talent or being themselves their personality to become, you know, whoever they want to become in life and achieve certain goals. Now it's like, I got to be controversial because that's what works. So we're just kind of feeding the beast when it comes to that. And um, I'll tell you what, if you want to find out what's going on and like not hate watch, but like know what's going on in the community, don't go watch the person. I find out through uh, drama. <laughs> drama channels. Honestly, like I watch Nick and Dustin, I watch Peter Mon, and that's about it. I don't, I've always had like a bad feeling about Rich Lux. Don't know any behind the scenes about him at all, but I've always had kind of a, a bad feeling. And then like, I also knew people years ago who knew Sanders Kennedy and he was kind of shady, like in person to some people, you know what I mean? So I've, I've really steer clear from most drama channels and I don't just trust every drama channel, but I do watch Nick and Dustin and Peter and I find out what's going on and then I'll go, ooh, I wanna fact check that and then I'll look it up. But I don't pay people with my views. Like I have been guilty in the past of hate watching and like trying to find out what's going on with their lives, girl. I don't need to know um, directly through them. I'll find out by Googling it because it does it, it affects my industry, it affects my job. So I do need to keep up with those things. But um, as far as like hate watching goes, bro, that's why, that's why we have people like Michaela becoming the face of a brand. Now here's the thing, people could change. On to lips. Revlon. 
this lip liner, I featured it in my recent current favorites. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that below. It went up last week. This is the Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate, and I love this on its own. But like, look at this, look how easy it goes on. And I said this in my favorites video is that it reminds, these lip liners remind me of my beloved M Cosmetics Soft Velvet Blur Lip Liners, like the, how long they wear, how they blur out, how much work time you have and things like that, except for these are a little bit glossy. I should say if soft, the if the velvet blur lip pencils were a matte finish foundation, these would be a satin. All right, that's chocolate on its own, just kind of haphazardly put on. And girl, these have these have work time. Once they're on, they're on. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Champagne on Ice. It is like a shimmer lipstick, and I thought it would look so good with this. The reason why I'm appreciating Revlon's products so much, I think, too, is that they are unscented. There's no fragrance. So immediately, it feels higher end, wears better, and I don't get grossed out. Like Maybelline's lipsticks, I can't handle. Like I like the formula, but but I can't handle that. I can't handle the scent and the taste and the, all of that. We don't need everything to taste like, a, you know, a cupcake with cherry icing. Ooh. I just think that this is such a pretty you kind know, of wintry lip combo. Pressing it in with my fingers. All right, the clips are coming out. We are finished. Oh, did I already blend my face products? I don't think I did. Like I always say, just in case, I mean, extra blending doesn't hurt anyone, you know what I mean? But if you're gonna blend your eyeshadows, you need to blend your face. <gasps> Cause you got lines, girl. All right, this is the final look, a fall smoky grungy look using most of the Pretty Grunge collection and some other really fun stuff. Am I about to be sick? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Oh yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think this is super pretty. I will have everything that I used and mentioned in the info box below. And yes, they're all affiliate links if I can help it. And I hope that this video was fun for you. I hope that you learned some things and don't forget to just shop wisely this year. It's kind of the wild west when it comes to product recommendations and like what some affiliate marketing companies are pushing. So so just use your gut, buy what you want, buy what you're interested in and buy what you want to gift, you know? Not necessarily the best selling items. But one best seller I can definitely recommend is the Current Body LED Mask. Thank you so much Current Body for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to take advantage of their Black Friday sale right now and use my code Mallory for 20% off. Again, I will have the link below. And also this will be featured in my Black Friday deals because she's not cheap. So when you can get a big uh, percent off that's that's why I wait for like big big sales to buy like big ticketed items so I'll have a link below for the current body LED mask all right let me know your opinions on everything we discussed today and are you interested in the pretty grunge eyeshadow palette here is the difference between Pretty Grunge and the Natasha Denona Xenon. I mean, it is to me like really clear that they are so different. I know we created more of a cool toned eye look today, but it is even warmer than like the look I created with the Xenon palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my get ready with me's and my get ready with me and gossips, it lets me know to make more of them and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in this beautiful, wonderful, positive, and honest community. I just couldn't keep my mouth shut about some of these things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right.